Finbar Wilbrink and his two companions found a really unique way to brew their beers. Yeah, they combined their love for beer with their love for movies in order to create cinema brewers. Um, what was the first beer you've made? The first beer we made was based, based on uh, Abu de Souffle, uh, which uh, is the, the English t- title would be uh, Breathless. Uh, it's a, a Nouveau Vague film in, from 1955 uh, by uh, Jean-Luc Godard. And uh, it's, a, it's like a real nihilistic classic, the first nihilistic movie ever made. And uh, we wanted to make a, a homage to uh, Jean-Luc Godard with this beer. So we, uh, we took like, the elements of the, of the film and tried to, uh, tried to grasp that into a beer. So we used lavender and uh, uh, verfaine and uh, French hops, American hops. Uh, that's it. Nice. Now you created a, a few other beers like the, uh, the Big Lebowski and the Dr. Suvago. What's the next beer we can expect? Uh, the next one is going to be the Five Dollar Shake, uh, inspired on uh, on uh, the classic uh, by Quentin Tarantino, Pulp Fiction, um, and it will be like a wheat beer. I really try to kind of capture a milkshake in a beer, and it will have uh, American hops, obviously, like uh, West Coast hops, uh, and uh, blueberries uh, because of the famous lines, "I'll be back before you can say blueberry pie." Uh, and vanilla, as the, the Martin and Lewis shake, Mia Wallace orders, is a, a vanilla shake. Uh, and of course, red apples, as Butch uh, smokes the, the brand red apples, uh, red apple cigarettes. And can you tell us a story of another beer you, you guys created? Uh, well, we've done, we've done quite a lot. Well, one of them we did was uh, Rebel Without a Cause. Uh, you can see the poster behind me. Um, we used uh, uh, West Coast hops um, uh, and really create, tried to create a, a West Coast IPA. Uh, we used, um, uh, we tried to kind of create with Belgium yeast a kind of like a bubblegum taste to resemble uh, the the youth culture in uh, uh, LA in the 50s. And we used cola nut as an aphrodisiac, as James Dean is obviously the, the, the sex symbol of the 20th century. Nice. Now, where did this idea for the company start? Well, it all started on a drunken afternoon in the garden. Uh, drinking beers. We drank uh, IPAs a lot and they weren't that much in trend when we started. So uh, uh, they were quite expensive to buy. Uh, so we decided to, to brew them ourselves as it would be cheaper. So like uh, hours on YouTube and practicing, uh, there was an old uh, uh, exposition hall which used to be a snack bar uh, owned by a friend of mine and we could just use that. Uh, the, the old kitchen was still installed. Uh, so we just made, like brewed hours on end to kind of you know uh, get the feeling for it, and after a while uh, we thought the beers were good enough to uh, to you know go to a, a somewhat larger scale. Amazing idea! Thank you so much, Finbar, and let's hope that the beer will just become as popular as the movie itself. Yes, and if you <laughs> and if you want to learn more about the beer brewers, check out the articles below.